But uh, this point, if you're playing, you know, I'd highly recommend if you're playing Dust Bowl 3, you're on defense. Just just try to convince your whole team. Maybe if you can get, oh, there's a spy right there. Um, if you can get your whole team, maybe 6 out of 12 people to go soldier. And maybe 2 engineers. You get 2 medics. Get uh, 2 pyros so they can push back ubers and reflect some projectiles. Look at that. Crits. Just, you know, when you need the crits, just shoot a crit at the guy. I mean, it's self-explanatory and you'll die but yes if you die to a soldier you know that's understandable I mean I've, well, I've probably killed 20 or 30 soldiers by now so you know that's the circle of life it's it's a soldier -y soldier out there um, this guy's got the lumbricus lid very nice item definitely worth at least 20 to 30 hats if you can get one of those um, or you know if you want to buy mine I'll definitely be trading it for 20 or 30 hats if you just want to message me over Steam, Wingspan, TT, or if you uh, if you want to do something else productive with your time, if you want to go over to TopTierTactics.com, where, where you can read about you know how did I develop these pro strategies, how did I get so good at soldier, you know that I'm just raw for stomping cup. Look at this guy, oh, 101 damage. You can see in the lower left hand corner, 101 damage. I just you just aim in his general direction and press mouse one. And here we got these guys trying to get through. They're trying to push ahead and capture this next point. But what they don't have is pocket medics. They don't have... Oh, this pocket medic. Oh. That, that was my fault, right? Was that, that... That was my fault? Okay, so apparently you cannot um, be ubercharged while wielding the equalizer, which I suppose I knew at some level. But because I don't play soldier primarily, it's it's my least my least played class, uh, which would explain my 12 to 1 KDR right now. You know, I, I just don't know these little technical details like you can't get healed when you're using the equalizer or your rockets cause damage, you know, to yourself. Or, you know, you can only fire four rockets before reloading. Whoa. Yeah, apparently your rockets can also damage yourself, so you want to watch out for that. Don't really encounter that much a spy. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I really like the soldier stash. It's, it's a good hat, and I will trade my soldier stash. That you can own Wingspan TT soldier stash today for just five hats. It's vintage. It's owned by Wingspan TT. Um, so, you know, that adds a lot of value to this game. So now we're trying to defend point two. I can't see any enemies. There might be enemies near the corner. I don't care. Like, there's a glowing circle. I'm just going to shoot at it. I don't know what it means. All it means is I don't like it, and I'm going to shoot rockets at it. This guy doesn't have Uber, so I'm just going to unleash the skill and shoot right at his feet. Bam. Dead, dead, dead. Now, there's some things you could do, like rocket jump. But look, that guy rocket jumped, and he just died. So the moral of the story is don't rocket jump. You know, you're going to take some shots here. The hacker's come around the corner with his hacking sniper rifle. And I don't know if you can hear over my voice, but I got the little ding-a-ling ding on. It's very important to soldier that you are able to hear when you hurt enemies. Because one of the things that makes playing soldier so hard is a lot of times you're just killing guys left and right. You don't even know if they're there or not. So you want to have that ding to let you know, oh, I just killed four people when I spammed around this corner. Now that wasn't too bad. Two people, but... You know, I, I would have preferred four to eight people with one with one Chris Creek. And my teammates here, they're, they're doing an admiral job. They could be watching that point a little better. There goes a pyro. There goes an engineer. I do love engineer. Um, uh, you know, do I miss the golden wrench? Sometimes. Sometimes I miss, you know, striking down my enemies, turning them to gold. But uh, I really enjoy the gunslinger more, but we'll save that for another time. You want to periodically come down here and check down this tunnel. What's in this tunnel? Is it a, is it a mole rat? Is it a, is it a spy? You don't know. You want to strafe left and right, make sure spies can't walk past you. But really, you know, playing soldiers looks like whack a mole. There's a mole, uh, and whack, he's dead. Uh, sometimes you do lose whack a mole, but, but you know, especially that first point in in, uh, in Dust Bowl Three, it's like whack a mole. You're standing there, the guys are popping out, and you want to whack them down. Now it's a little different than Whack-A-Mole because all nine of the moles are out at once and you're shooting rockets at the moles instead of a hammer and the rockets kill all the moles at once and the moles die and turn into giblets 
So it's not really like whack-a-mole, it's more like you're spamming rockets at people and they're just dying left and right. But uh, I think I think you get the comparison. Um, so here I come against Sneaky Sneaky. Uh, you know, I'm just a spy at heart. I want to get behind these guys and backstab them. Uh, here's this. No. No. Ooh, ooh. You know, I'm just afraid of this guy. You know, why am I afraid? He just He's like a hacker. Five. One. You know, you got five life here. It doesn't really matter. People can't kill you. We got a hacking sniper. Doesn't matter. Just spam rockets. Get that health. The one thing I like about Soldier is, uh, you know, he's got, he fires from long range, you point things and they just die. Um, you know, you, you may not have cloak, but what, you have like double the life of a spy, you do ten times the damage, it requires one tenth of the aim, you get pocket medics, when the mechs heal you, you kill more people. Look at this, one more, two, we got this Kritzkrieg, now. Yep, this is totally fair. You know, just... Oh, I get an achievement. Excellent. Try splatteral damage. If anything, this just <laughs> makes playing Spy that much worse. It just makes it uh, just unrewarding to see how easy this can be. And while I understand that my opposition really isn't the, the best right now, I mean it... <laughs> I would guess I probably would have died at least eight times if I were playing Spy. So, you just want to keep reloading, you want to come around here, <laughs> just keep spamming, keep the pressure on, get your pocket medic. This is totally, you can see 109 damage and I have the custom UI, the community UI. Pyros, WM1 Pyros, and hacks. Normally this part, I would do my lesson of the day, you know, we talk about what did we learn from this video? What did we uh, learn how to play as a spy, in this case a soldier? Um, I guess lesson one is you want to find the things, the people that you want to die, and just point at them and click. All right, that, that's lesson number one. And the, the second lesson is, um, I mean, that that's that seems to be pretty much it. You just you just want to shoot rockets at people. Uh, you don't even you don't really need to aim at them. You can aim near them, around them. You can aim where you think they're gonna be. You can aim where they used to be. All those things are quite valid. But um, this is why I don't play soldier. I, I don't find this kind of a gameplay rewarding. Maybe you do. Maybe that there there is some higher level of soldier out there. Maybe maybe there's uses for things like the shotgun or um, for rocket jumping, as they say. But until I find those uses, I'm just going to keep making spy videos. Thanks for watching, and good night.